HDR photography from this little thing? Let's see which of the three HDR claiming iPhone apps takes the crown. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello and welcome to App Judgment Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name's Stephanie and in the past we've shared more than a few photo filtering apps, but HDR isn't something we've covered before. If you're unfamiliar with HDR photography, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. In lesser words, this is an effect you can achieve by combining multiple exposures of photographs, therefore capturing a wider range of luminances. You can catch both the lightest and the darkest parts of an image to create an intense photo. We all know that in searching for useful apps, we'll always go for the free one first. So I gave HDR for free a chance. Upon launching the app, I was greeted with a free the app Robin Hood style animation. Kinda cool and I can get down with free. We then go into the app and our only option is to choose a picture. There's no in-app camera functionality. You have to use a photo from your camera roll. That's it, a picture, one photo. This photo is then loaded and you have to press another button to actually see HDR filters applied. Unfortunately, all I saw was a series of different saturations, of course with ads. Not useful. There are a couple of problems with this. First, this app doesn't even do HDR. It only processes a single photo. Second, it only increases saturation with different filters. They might as well call this app saturation for free. I gave up on any hope for this app after realizing it wasn't doing HDR to begin with. Let's move on. The second app we found that does HDR for the iPhone 3GS is called True HDR. This app truly does allow you to take two photos and combine them into an image with a wider range of tones than your iPhone can provide on its own. With True HDR, you can choose two images from your camera's library, or you can take two similar photos directly from the app. You'll first be prompted to tap your iPhone screen to define a bright area before capturing the first photo, then you'll define a dark area when capturing the other photo. These images are queued up for merging, then the app does its magic to make a pretty HDR picture. If you can get over the app's silly graphics that kind of look like third grade art, you'll find that the app does a decently good job at merging photos. If you want a comparison of the HDR photos to the previous images taken in the app, you'll be out of luck as it only saves the final product. Some may prefer this, so that's okay. True HDR is looking pretty good, but how does Pro HDR stack up to the competition? Hear all about our challenger after we hear from our sponsor. App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a cool website, whether it's a blog, portfolio, a video site, whatever. And now you can manage your entire Squarespace site on the go with the new Squarespace iPhone app. You can post and edit blog entries, upload pictures on the fly, manage content, and access your site statistics all on your phone. Try Squarespace today for free with a 14-day trial. If you decide to purchase, use the code APPJUDGMENT to get 10% off your order. I've been shooting some random photos around Revision 3 headquarters to test True HDR against a similar iPhone app, Pro HDR. Using Pro HDR is pretty much the same as using True HDR, so let's jump into some visual comparisons. Let's see who has the better final product in different times of the day and different environments. First up, poorly lit indoor photo on my desk. Pro HDR wins with nice tone and a slightly less creepy Yoda. Next, outdoor around noon, wall art. True HDR has more pop and wins with the quality of matching photo elements. How about a late afternoon shot of our industrial backyard? Pro HDR gets a moody final product and while True HDR has nice color, it's too grainy. Pro HDR gets this one. Next, a shot of our sandwich shop with the sun shining towards our lens. Nice output on both, but better auto color with True HDR. Car shot, the old Mercedes has a less cloudy look and better balance of tones with True HDR. And finally, my new favorite taco spot in San Francisco. Hands down, Pro HDR's output was better at night with hanging lights and with the signage. So there isn't a landslide winner in quality, but here's the kicker. Pro HDR gives you complete control over the output's brightness, contrast, saturation, and warmth. Even better, Pro HDR allows you to set image resolution preferences. You can size the image down for email, or you can save your photo at its full resolution, unlike True HDR, which limits you to 960 by 960. On top of that, Pro HDR gives you the option to save your original exposures. It's nice to have options, and as App Judgment viewers, you have the option to download any of these apps. As a reminder, HDR for free is available for $0, but you also get zero HDR benefits. I recommend that you don't download HDR for free. Their lengthy instruction page is appreciated and can educate users, but until they allow for full resolution image saving, don't download True HDR. Let's hope their next version is stepped up. And finally, we have our winner. Pro HDR takes the cake with awesome HDR output for the iPhone at full resolution and custom image tweaking. 
it's my honor to recommend that you download Pro HDR for the iPhone. My name is Stephanie and congratulations to our winner Pro HDR and our soon to be awesome runner up True HDR. And to HDR for free, better luck next time. If you're interested in learning more about HDR, check out Techzilla's amazing how-to episode of HDR techniques and software recommendations. Or check out Pixel Perfect where Bert Monroy and Ben Wilmore share their expert HDR techniques. I'd love to see some of your iPhone photography, so please post your work in the App Judgment forums or send me links via Twitter at Merrily or email the team at AppJudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or our homepage at revision3.com slash AppJudgment. Take care and see you next time.